welcome to Best in Tesla. Let's talk about this crazy truck Tesla just revealed, the Cybertruck. This was one of the most crazy reveals I have seen in a long time, and no one was close to guess the design, because this was just out of this world. Definitely a car that felt much more at home on a moon base or a city on Mars. Elon Musk said they would build something new, not just a normal pickup truck, and it wouldn't be for everyone. Like we're trying to create something here that is really new and not, not just derivative of, of all the other vehicles on the road, uh, but you still want it to be great. Uh, it's very hard. This is a very hard thing. Uh, our goal here is to have uh, something that's more functional than an F-150, but then also a better sports car than a basic 911. So that's a hard one. And boy, did they build just that. What a beast. It is going to have an exoskeleton made of stainless steel like the SpaceX Starship rocket. 3,500 pounds of payload capacity and adjustable air suspension. Have 100 cubic feet of exterior lockable storage, including this tone cover that is strong enough to stand on. Can tow up to 14,000 pounds goes from zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, have a range of over 500 miles, can charge with over 250 kilowatt, it is bulletproof, have a 110 and 220 volt outlet and an air compressor, can adjust the height of the vehicle and lower the back only for easy access to the pickup bed, has a built-in ramp in the back, so you can drive up, for example, your Tesla Cyber ATV. <laughs> now that's a look. It seats six persons, have a 17-inch all-in-one screen like the Tesla Model 3, that only have a 15-inch screen. The inside of the Cybertruck is the most clean look of any pickup truck you have ever seen. What a beast. And if we take away the design for a moment, because that is just so polarizing and people having a hard time talking about the truck without getting distracted of this crazy ass design. And of course the broken windows. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. To be fair, they did show off the glass and how strong it really was in a lot of other tests. And as we can see on this video, they did test it beforehand. And that's probably why the window broke on the stage because they had been throwing this metal ball at the window many, many times in practice. Just too bad that it happened on stage live in front of millions of people. And just look at the specs and the price point because then this is probably going to be the best pickup truck in the world, especially at that price point. If you compare it to a Ford F-150 to the mid-range Cybertruck, it beats the Ford in every single way, even on the price. That is just amazing. And on top of that, you have to remember the Cybertruck is going to be much cheaper to run because fuel is more expensive than electricity, and there will not be a lot of maintenance on the Cybertruck. This is a much, much better deal. And on top, on top of that, you have the world's biggest power bank with you, with a 110 and 220 volt outlet and an air compressor. This is just a much better tool than any other pickup truck for a cheaper price. Even if we compare it to the upcoming Ravian, it will beat that as well in, on every count, even being much cheaper. The Ravian start point is the same as a Tesla fully loaded Cybertruck. But the Rivian is of course just looking like a normal pickup truck with fancy headlights. The Cybertruck does not. <laughs> but we can't of course ignore the design of the truck. And this is definitely one of the most bold design we have ever seen. And is one of the most polarizing things I have ever seen. But I don't think that this is a bad thing. 
as we can see on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, the news, Cybertruck is everywhere and is the talk of the town. And I think it's going to sell pretty well, not a mass market car like the Ford, but I think it's going to be like when the Hummer came available for the public. It was also a crazy big truck, also polarizing the public. But it was definitely a head turner and the Cybertruck is definitely also going to be a head turner. And some people really like to drive a car like that. The Hummer civilian version came in 1998 and peaked in 2016 with a sale of over 70,000 vehicles. So I think the Cybertruck could sell about the same but maybe even more because the Cybertruck is actually a much better pickup truck and can do so much more. And Tesla also got a huge fan base worldwide. So I think this is going to do pretty good, even with this crazy futuristic look. And we have, of course, a couple of years to get used to this design before it comes available in late 2021. But the more videos I see of it, the more cool I think it looks. Definitely too much for me. I really don't need a pickup truck in any kind, but I can't wait to see this drive around in the real world. Elon Musk once again showed off that we are living in the future and there are just so many more mind-blowing things to come with his different companies. Can't wait. Thank you Tesla and Elon Musk for being so bold and redefining what a vehicle can look like and do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, it helps out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And you can also support the show over on patreon.com slash best and Tesla for as little as a buck a month. And that will really help out the show a lot. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. Uh -huh.